Okay, let me introduce uh, our tangible earth. It's the world's first interactive digital globe. Uh, it's interactive in the sense that you can spin it to any direction like this. You can rotate the borderline between daylight and shade. It's real time, so uh, you can tell in which area the people are greeting sunrise and the uh, on the other side of the planet, around Minnesota, people are enjoying the sunset. The size of the, this globe, uh, 1.28 meters in diameter, it's one of the uh, important aspects of the uh, information design. This scale is about 10 million to one. For example, troposphere, the layer of the air surrounding the planet, is only one millimeters. Actually, you can see the uh, typhoon being born uh, nearby Philippine Sea. So uh, let me show you some other dynamic features of our planet. For example, it's a serpentine ocean currents. You can see the uh, Gulf Stream spread up north to the uh, northern part of Europe. The area like the Scotland, northern England is <coughs> in the uh, high latitude, uh, as high as Alaska and Siberia. So uh, you can imagine what happens if this conveyor of the heat stops or slows down uh, because of the uh, ice melt caused by the global warming. You can see the sea surface temperature changes according, according to the season, just like a breathing of the, the planet. Here you can see the seism, seismological events and the accumulation of the uh, seismological events and seismological data visualizes the borderline of the uh, tectonic plates. You can see the tsunami December 2004. And now, <laughs> You can use the uh, magnifying pointer function to see what happens in a specific location. Uh, you can see the disaster caused by tsunami like this in Sri Lanka. And now I show you the uh, displacement of the air pollutants. The uh, blue is sulfur dioxide and the uh, green NOx and the uh, carbon oxide is CO emitted from the uh, automobiles or factories especially from the China, Russia and East Europe and it moves around the whole globe. You can see it's no use regulating domestically. It's a whole issue and the, um, we have to cooperate internationally and globally. Now you can see the uh, global warming process in this century. Um, blue color indicates the uh, average surface temperature in 1900. If the uh, temperature rises 3 degrees, it gets red, and plus 6 degrees, it gets yellow. Let's predict the future of our planet. And I stop now around 2050, especially these areas like the polar region in Siberia and the uh, Himalaya, Tibet, if the ice melts because of the global warming, uh, they lose the ice albedo effects and the, uh, the warming process will be accelerated. We are maybe the uh, first generation that we start to understand the mechanism of the spaceship Earth and the, uh, how precious this kind of well-tuned planet is in the universe.